What's going on guys and welcome back to another Satisfactory Sunday video. This week we've got some more things planned but we're going to do a lot more than last week because last week was a longer episode than the first one but we didn't get as much done. I think I rambled on a little bit too much. <laughs> but last week we managed to automate screws, rotors and frames. Oh yeah and we got solid biomass going. Oh and Caterium. So maybe I did get a few things done. I, I just think it's because the builds were smaller. Maybe that's what it was. Because, like, on the first episode, we got, like, the whole down floor built. Right? But now we need to start, thing, uh, like, taking things to another level. We're actually going to get some smart plating done here real quick. So we're just going to extend. Oh, I'm not even zooping. I need to zoop. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this belt. I'm going to add a splitter. And as you know, this whole thing is temporary. I've noticed a few of you saying, like, like this this is clean. But I don't think some of you guys are realize, like, some of my clean builds. A lot of you guys that come over from the live streams will understand my clean builds. But for all you new viewers and new, new people that's, like, see, see my content for the first time, this is... This is not clean. <laughs> this is not clean for me. But we're going to grab our, our, ourselves a nice little Mark 1 belt out of this. And we're going to just put down a... Where should we put this? Maybe we just flip it. I'm just going to place it here. For now. For now. And we're just going to pull a Mark 1 belt out of uh, the reinforced plates. Uh, put that straight into the middle. And if we just put the smart plate in here, we'll notice that it needs two per minute. And then the rotors need two per minute. So this is going to be pulling out more than what it needs to. Okay, so let's pull a belt from out of here, from the rotors. Uh, we're just going to turn this in here uh, as of now. Um, and then we're just going to pull you into here and spin you around into there. I want to get you set to smart plate, in which I've done. And then we're just going to connect you up with power real quick. And you should start making me smart plating. And there we have it. Smart plating being made. That's going to take some time now. How much is it per minute? Two per minute. Okay. So we've got to quit, wait quite a bit. But that's why I say during the meantime, we're going to go and work on some copper now. And I'm thinking we might actually come down here because there should be a copper node like right there. We've got two quartz here, which we're going to need as well. I think I might start grabbing these now because we can start pulling them into the MAM as well. So there's copper right there, but I think that's an impure. Nope, it's a normal, it's a normal, it's a normal. And I don't have my weapon on me. I don't have my bloody zapper. And I'm being chased by flies and I've just missed that jump. God damn it. And I've run out of power. I've run out of power as well. I just need to run for my life. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at my health. Look at my health. Look at my... <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I just built a massive ramp just to come down. No, you son of a... Carrot. God damn it, it took me a while to jump up there as well. Oh, berries. 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 Oh god, there's a mother here. <laughs> Give me the berries, give me the berries, give me the berries. Where is she? Oh, she's in the water. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I'm safe. I don't know what happened to the wasps. I think they went back. I think they despawned. But the mother's still over there. At least we know there's a yellow slug there as well. Okay, but let me go and turn this power back on. Turn you back on. And voila. Okay. But we really need to get onto coal. And I think we might do that today. Should I do that today? Like this video if you think I should do it today. But technically, that's kind of... I'm just scamming you right there, aren't I? Because technically, if I do it in this video... I... You would have already liked, but you won't. Like, how would I... You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But, you know, we, you could still like the video if you want to. And if you did, let me know. <laughs> what did I do with my zapper? Did I put it in here? I did... I did, but, 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 ma'am, 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 Ethereum, you, start research, thank you very much, 
thank you very much. Copper sheets as well. I might go and use that copper nord for um, uh, for the copper sheets. I did not want to eat that. I accidentally fat fingered the. God damn it. Okay, so yeah, I've laid the foundation down here. I need to quickly make a. Wait, what? Hello. There we go. Uh, I need to make some portable miners. I need to make two of these bad boys so we can make a miner. Uh, no, that's only for Mark II. What am I thinking about, Bitsy? Um, where is the soft spot? Where's the ore? You're the. Can I? Yes. Place you down. And I think, yeah, I think we're going to go this way. Um, we're not going to attach it to this grid. Uh, I don't think. I'm only going to use it to collect because I only need it for pipes, really. Um, mainly pipes and just the mam. I don't need to automate it. I don't need to automate AI limiters right now. So, yeah, let's get this copper sheet building made. Okay, so we managed to get all the copper sheets up and rolling at 30 per minute. Because as you know, this is a normal node providing 60 per minute. Going into two smelters, this needs 30, that needs 30. Then I'm merging them together to equal a 60 line of copper ingots. The copper ingots are then being split three ways. So 20, 20, and 20 going into our constructors, which need 20 per minute. Equaling 10 copper sheets per minute. So 1, 2, 3, 30 copper sheets per minute. Simple and dusted copper sheets being stored. Grab that 50 because now we can actually put that into our MAM, go into our Caterium, unlock AI limiters, and then done. Oh, have you noticed? I've just unlocked the Blade Runners and I have just made myself some. There you go. And that's the recipe you need. You only need Caterium wire, three frames and three rotors. And I managed to get around a lot quicker now. A lot quicker. Okay, so we're back at the uh, the hub, and I think we might have jump pads. Yes. Jump pads to unlock. Select that, and let's just send this off. And that is the last milestone of one and two, which does mean we can now move on to three and four. But we do need to unlock the space elevator, which, I, as you can see on the right-hand side, I do have the recipe set, and I just need to grab myself some wire and then some concrete as well you see why i said just kind of like make everything like automate everything it oh my and this is why we're going on to the next tier this is why we need coal because i know it's getting too much with the amount of bio bloody mass burners we've got over here we've got what how many one two three four five six seven eight and then plus these two uh, well technically we'll class them to as what nine in in total um but let's go and place the space elevator i don't know where i should put it like i'm only gonna i'm only gonna place it down put the smart plating in there build it remove it i think i think that's what i'm gonna do because i don't want to place it down like here somewhere just be you know for permanent reasons i don't need that so i think i'm just gonna make room for it i think i'm then just gonna build it put the smart plating in there and then we should be gucci we should be we should be good we should be fine and dandy and then we can send the elevator off okay here we go hold on to your butt cheeks three two one There it is. The space elevator. 50 smart plating. Check. Then time to head to call. Lord, seal it. Seal it. 
send it. This is the best animated thing in the game. It truly is. It's it's glorious. This whole building, it's just GG, you know. G, G. Now, time to get to the hub. Because we've got a whole lot of new milestones, but we should be able to fly through tier 3 pretty quickly because... We've already got everything being automated. Coal power. What do you need? Oh, look. Reinforced plates. Rotors. Cable. We've got them automated. Vehicular transport. Frames. We're getting automated. Rotors. Cables. Rods. Boom. Done. Oh, look. Frames. Rotors. We can get all of these done instantly now. You see how easy it is once you get everything automated? If you get everything done from one uh, tier 1 and 2. As soon as we get coal power, that's when I think I'm going to do the coupons because I just could not, I can't keep up with the demand, to be honest. But... Oh, yeah, we're out of power, aren't we? Crap. Did I spike? Did I spike? Oh, God damn it. And. Okay, right, that is not going to last me long. I will probably need to do another cut, but I do now want to start coal power. So let's get that unlocked. What did I need? Did I need some frames for this one? Or was it, there was something I was missing from coal power. No, we can do it. Let's send it off. Let's get this sent off. And Ava, go. Wait, where are you? Where is she? She, she's gone hiding. She's gone bloody hiding. But yes, we've now unlocked coal. So, it does cost us some reinforced plates to make some rotors and some cables. Uh, and these big bad boys have now, have now got complex clearance. So, before this used to be a big massive hitbox now. Uh, but we're, we're in the recent update, in update 5, complex clearance is actually removed the hitbox from literally this area here. So we can actually build over this now. So we can make things a lot more tight and compact and stuff like this. And it does require 15 coal per minute and 45 cubic meters of water. But we should, un as well, unlocking production, we should unlock some water extractors. So we're going to go to my most wonderful spot where I always go for my coal power, which is up at the Crater Lakes. And that can be found from our current location is if you just head this way, and then if you head and look up there, you can see that big, massive ball up on top of the hill. That big, massive tree, that one. That's the Crater Lake. So behind this mountain is the Crater Lake. So we do have to go through that gas. So I will end up just making a ramp for me to get up there. And we will put it on the world grid as well because you've got water up there and you've got three pure coal nodes. So I'm going to grab my supplies. I'm going to get what I need to build up there. And then I'll meet you at the top of the mountain. No! Oh, God damn it! Oh, oh, that sucks. I got everything I needed. I started making my tower to get up to the get up to here, and then oh. okay. Now I need to run because I've got three baby ones after me. And then Big Mom is here, and then... Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no health, no, no health, no health, no health, no health. Wait, what, what? Wait, excuse me? Did... How did I get yeeted off there? Without taking any damage? What? For those that know, I'm on update 5, so we can't use mods right now, so... How did I just survive that? I think I kind of did, like, a glitch or something when I, like, slid, then jump, and then she hit me, but it didn't take damage. Like, what? What? Okay, let's try again, shall we? My crate is right there. 
I just need to stay away from Mama. Right. Okay, I think we might be good. I think she's despawned and gone back over to the bridge. Yeah, she's there. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so I've just taken care of the hogs. And we have one, two, three pure coal nodes. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we are going to get onto the world grid. So we're going to hold control right here. And then we're going to get the foundation to aim east. So we know we're always on the same axis. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just maybe maybe go up by one. Just so I don't I don't think we have any terrain hitting in the in, in the future. And then we're just going to basically build a uh, a platform for us to put our coal generators on. Yeah, you're not too close, actually. Uh, let me just get a ramp here as well and bring you down. I'm so glad we can snap them together now. It just saves the, you know, the hassle. Um, so, yeah, let's grab and get a big, massive foundation ready here. We'll get our water extractors in here. We'll bring the pipes underneath. We'll get the coal uh, extractors on top. And I might do what I normally do, which is underfeed them. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what the plan is. But first, let's get the foundation down. Right. So I've put the foundation down and I have put us eight coal generators. You'd be like wondering why eight coal generators bits is because if you divide eight by, uh, well, if you divide 120 by 15, that should equal eight. So 120 divided by 15 is eight. The reason we're doing 15 is because each coal machine takes 15 coal and it takes 45 cubic meters of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we utilize all of the coal coming from one node. So we will be putting like, what, 24 coal generators down. And then I've also kind of got a bit of a structure going here where I kind of like a bit of a skeleton, I should say, where I want to put everything. So this is where my pipes are going to go. So this is going to be my main route, which we're going to probably build through here where we're going to have like more behind, say. Um... And then one pipeline is going to come off this way. Uh, well, technically, it's going to be two pipelines uh, because we do need to do what? Uh, 45, 90, 180, 270. So six coal generators is going to hold 270. That's, so that's one pipe there because if you look at the pipes, pipes only hold 300 cubic meters of uh, fluid per minute. Um, so that means we can only hold six because these hold a 45 and... I, I'm, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put three three into one and get a, a fourth one just to, to do these two. I could I could uh, technically use three if I wanted to and just do a bit of an overclock, but I've not got I've not done the, any overclocking yet. So I'm just going to put three water extractors down here for the first six. And as of update four, I've always been kind of making sure I send a little bit more fluid than I need to because there was a major bug. Uh, which I'm not going to go much on about, but there was a, a major bug where something was going on with fluid uh, that was causing a, a lot of loss uh, and not, it wasn't performing correctly. Um, so there was all this back and forth of sloshing in the pipes and making sure that the flow rate was fine and all this kind of stuff. But we're not going to go into that because uh, most of it's been fixed now anyway, but we're just kind of going to make sure that we're, we're future proofing and we're giving, sending a bit more extra fluid as well. So if you've had any fluid uh, issues in the past, put it in the comments below. Let me know, and uh, you know, because I know I know I'm not the only one. We've we've had this big discussion when I big I made a big massive oil rigging stream, and uh, yeah, we had a lot of problems with that, and uh, a lot of other people in this stream was having it as well. So let's get our water extractors down. So we're gonna look at a one line coming from here. So we're just gonna zoop this along. I've kind of made this as close to the water as possible. Just kind of gives it a bit more, uh, you know, a bit more realistic and we're not flying and sending pipes uh, anywhere. So let's get our water extracted on. So we're going to get one. And I believe in the latest patch as well, the snapping has now been fixed with these. So I want to align this up to the center of this foundation as close as we can, if possible. I'm going to put you there. And then we're going to just snap you three together we do technically need four so let's just add four on there um then we're going to grab our uh pipeline no we don't need pipeline supports um pipeline junctions i'm just going to place you down 
We need to make sure that you're going on to the outside. You're going on the inside, because these three are the ones that could be combined. Okay, so there we go. I've laid my pipes, and as you can see, I have color coded them as well. And doing that, all I needed to do was go into the customizer. You can you can go in by pressing Q, or you can just press the X key, and it'll actually pull up the uh, customizer. And all I've done is I've just changed the swatch one, and I've just changed the color to a blue, and I've just painted everything that water is going to be coming on. Because I, I like to do that with all my pipes. Um, so if, if I'm sending residue oil later on, I'll turn it purple. If I'm sending fuel, I'll put it orange. Uh, it kind of makes it a lot more uh, organized for me. And then what I've done is I've sent the two pipes up here as well. I've had to make sure you put a uh, pump because the pump is uh, is going to push the head lift. It's going to help the water come through. And inside here, all I've done is I've just put the uh, junctions down uh, vertically uh, and then place the the pipes up here just like this it keeps everything nice and clean and everything uh, normally i'll put a glass foundation down here but we've not unlocked uh, unlocked them yet um but yeah that's pretty much that and then all i need to do now is i just need to grab my splitters and i'm just going to place these down just here in the middle and then I can uh, connect these all up with conveyor belts and then connect the miner up. And there we go. All of the coal miners are now connected with belts. The miners have all been added. I put them all on the foundation. As you know, I do like to do this. It, look, it just makes it look clean. I've uh, got the belts all organized. They're all coming up these lifts here as well. We've got the one, two, three. I don't need to utilize them all. But I've got them there ready to go so I can just build the, the uh, belt coming out of here. And then just... Add it down here to when we add eight more, which we'll be doing pretty shortly. I just can't do right now because I'm limited on rotors and frames. And, of course, whilst I was doing all this build, the power went out. So we currently have no biomass going at the other base. But what I do need to do is I now need to jumpstart this. So what I need to do is just place down a couple of foundations here. Um, and then I'm going to place some biomass burners. Because uh, I need to kind of jumpstart this, just like you would, a, you know, a car or something. Uh, so head into here, grab yourself a biomass burner. Uh, I don't know how many I need to... So I just basically need the coal to come along in a bit of water. So because one, one of these boots up, or maybe two, it should then power all of these and I can remove the biomass burners. So we're just going to grab one of these. I think four should be fine. Uh, actually, I need to remove you first bring you over here uh wait hello one of them's not connected that one i'm just connect that one up and then let me connect you to you i do have a bit of bio solid biofuel on me um which i gotta I'll just spread out between these it's just for my chainsaw so let's add you in there i'm expecting that sound and then uh one more yeah turn that on Okay, more than enough. So I want the water to get pumping now. Oh, I didn't connect up the uh, the pumps, did I? I didn't actually connect up the pumps. Let me just bring that over here and that to there. Just so we can get the water flowing. And then what I want to see is the coal coming along, which it is. You're on a Mark II belt. And you're on a pure node, so you're giving me 120. Perfect. All these are coming now as well. These are gonna aren't going to go anywhere, so that's just going to save some, save me some power. Uh, and now it's just a matter of waiting for this coal to make its way around. There it is. It's going in. Come on. Boot up. There it is. The good old pollution. We're going to get one on the second one as well. Wait, that one just conked out. <laughs> God damn it. But there we go. At least that's now coming through. And now we're just going to wait for this to heat up. Wait for the coal to push along. As we can see now that the coal is now pushing through and we are making power. So it will uh, take some time. The coal's now pushing in. We're just waiting for the water to push through as well. Uh, and that's just going to take its time as well because the pipes actually hold quite a bit. So they will take some time to fill up. Uh, and we should be golden. Like both of these pumps are working. Uh, I think I'm going to clean this power line up though. Yeah, I'm not liking the... Uh, the likes of that. So I think I'm just going to grab this one. I'm just going to grab you. I'm going to quickly pull you here. Line you up to this one. Remove them two lines. And connect these ones up to that one. Just like that. And then bring you to the... 
It just cleans it up a little bit. That can get pumping away again. And then we should be fine and dandy. And I just want to see all of these get running. And there we go. We are now got all the coal generators running. And if you look now, we should be flatlining. Yes, we are now flatlining, meaning that they're all 100% optimized and efficient. Basically the same thing, right? Um, but yeah, it's all good and uh, under the hood. Yeah. So now we're making 600 megawatts on this line. So all we need to do now is grab these power lines and then start taking it over to our base. And I, I do believe we're still hitting under, but we do need to double this as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the power line and take this over to our base. And we're back up and powered. I think we're good. Yes. No. Yes. Now we are. <laughs> I am going to now remove all of these because these can leave. We do not need you anymore. So now I'm so glad we can remove this. I am going to keep these all connected up. I do want to connect that up to that line as well. Actually, no, this can be removed as well, right? We can remove this. We don't need this. We don't need biomass anymore. We have automated power. Okay, and there we have it. So much room for activities. We've removed the whole biomass section here. We've removed the biomass generators. I have stored a little bit of excess solid biofuel in here. And if we look at our fuel now, well, our power, we have now got a flat line. So just for people that uh, don't know, this right here, this blue line, is what everything is when it's turned on. So if everything was turned on, it'll be 415. This is what it's currently consuming. So this is telling me that some machines are not running right now. That's because they are backed up in the storage where we will require the use of sinks, which we now can use. So, but our power is currently at 600 megawatts because in update 4, uh, the coal generators now consume exactly what they need to. They never used to. They used to be like the biomass burners. They always used to run when the power is required. Whereas since update 4, the coal generators now consume 15 coal every minute to send out 75 megawatts per minute as well. So 75, obviously times by is 600 megawatts. And we have now got a flat line, which is super cool. But I've got a challenge for you guys. I want to see your coal builds. I want to see your, well, you're basically what you've done as a coal power plant. And we're going to do this every single week. So whatever we're focusing on that week, I want to see your build of it. Check the description below. Come on over to Discord. Come and say hi to the community. Trust me, you are fitting well. You're all awesome. You're very, very, like, you're super nice with all the comments. But go in there and make sure you join the satisfactory section Post in the images and show me your call build. Let me know you come over from YouTube. And I want to, like, show off one of your builds. Or maybe a couple of your builds in the next episode. So, guys, this one is going to be it for today. And I will see you next Sunday. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and comment. And I also want to see some call builds. All right? I want to see them in Discord. I will show them on sh uh, on the uh, on the video next week. Also, big shout out to the people you can see on screen right now. These are the first group of people that have joined the the the, the Melon House through the join button on YouTube, which supports me financially as a content creator. So if you're willing to get your name up on this board, I will be doing a dedicated build at some point, and I'll be putting all of these names inside your own dedicated building with signs so guys again thank you so much for your support and see you soon